Hey everybody, this is Joe. This is the Joe Fix-It channel. This is where I work on my Mark II Jetta diesels and occasionally on my X Mark Metro. Today, I'm gonna remove and replace the wheel drive belts. I'm also gonna adjust the belt tension and the brakes. I really don't need to change the belts. I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes. These belts last a very long time. The only time you ever need to replace them is when they start getting dry rotted and cracking. If you're experiencing squealing and slipping when you let off your clutch, it is typically the engine to transmission belt that's loose and the squeaks. It's more exposed to moisture and debris on the bottom of the mower. Let's get on with the video and get this drive belt off. These are the tools that I typically use. Usually you can get away with a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of vice grips, a spring puller hook. The first thing we'll need to do is to lift the thing up off the ground so we can access things. And it would probably help to pull the sulky off. Alright, the next thing we need to do is remove the spring tension. And we do this by putting our little fancy hook in there, pulling the spring loose, and then we'll set this to the side. This is the clutch adjustment or the belt adjuster. This is the brake adjustment. We have to take both of those off. This is the idler pulley that holds tension on the belt when you're going forwards. To get the uh, belt adjuster shaft off, you just pull out the cotter pin and set it to the side and gently remove it. And then to take the brake adjuster loose, you pull this cotter pin out and set it to the side. And pull the brake adjuster shaft off and set it to the side. Is it lets you roll this back out of the way and take the belt tension off. Some people will loosen these nuts up and take this plate loose in order to get this belt out, but it can actually be slid out by hand. I can usually get it off most times. First, we'll slide this belt off of its pulley. And you can see it doesn't come off so easy. Usually, I can slide this belt off and get it off without taking anything loose. But in the interest of time and not looking stupid, we'll go ahead and take this holding bolt loose right here. It's a 13 millimeter socket. It comes right off. You pop your belt off and you're good to go and you just slide your belt right under the wheel and here you go it's time to do an inspection this belt is in perfect condition all right i've got the belt off now it's time to put it back on it's pretty much in reverse order we have our theoretically new belt it's not new but it's nothing wrong with it plop it back on there make sure you're on the pulleys it's on the front make sure it's in the channels in the front and then slide it on from the bottom first and it pops right on. Make sure you've got an instant little guide channel here. Don't do a Joe special and leave it half undone. Then bring the brake adjuster back. Install your cotter pin. Bring your clutch control rod down here. Put your cotter pin back in it. We'll take our spring and put it here where it belongs. Then this little gadget we took off here, your spring holder, we'll reinstall it. Now it's time to adjust the belt tension and then adjust the brakes. You should be familiar with how the ECS controls work on these things. That's fully engaged. This is a neutral position where it's disengaged the drive but not the brakes. And this is the braking position. To adjust them, you wanna put it in neutral position with the transmission in gear. So when you're adjusting this, you need to take the brake control arm off pulling this out as we did before and pulling it loose. You take your clutch control arm off and adjust this little rod up or down. You should be able to just turn the wheel. What I typically do is I run it down until it just will catch on the clutch and then back it off to where it'll just barely turn free. And that's where I leave that. And then you rehook your brake control up and adjust your brakes and I'll show you that in a second. What you do is you run this wing nut backwards and forwards to adjust your brakes until you can pull this back and when you pull good and tight you should have about one eighth to a quarter inch 
of gap between this and your handlebar on your ECS. So when you pull back and put it, the parking brakes on, it engages the brakes good and solid so it's not going anywhere. Now you know how to adjust your belt, change your belt, adjust your brakes on your 48 inch Metro belt drive mower. If you find this content interesting, feel free to subscribe, tell your friends, share your videos, and if you're interested in uh, fast food reviews, check out my other channel called Joe is Hungry. We'll see you in the next video. Boom.